How you doing, everybody? It's your boy, Wardy. And as you can see, out of town at the moment, but the grind never stops here on the channel, everybody. As we got some breaking news to get into that has come out over the past hour or so at the time of recording this. And right before the Mets kick off their 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern game against the St. Louis Cardinals, rocking their beautiful City Connect jerseys with the helmets having the bridge on it. Oh, baby, do they look nice. Cannot wait to break that down in our post-game coverage today. So make sure you guys and gals are on the lookout for it. But folks, we have some breaking news to get into here as Mark Vientos and Daniel Nunez have been called up by the Mets because Starley Marte is unfortunately now being put on the bereavement list for a period of time. We don't know exactly how long. Of course, this is in regards to something going on in his family. So sending prayers to Marte and his family during this time, of course. Hopefully it's nothing too terrible going on on that front. Very unfortunate. Marte was off to a tremendous start this season, of course. Happy to hear that he isn't injured, but certainly not happy to hear why he's out of the lineup. And again, sending prayers his way to him and his family. And then we, of course, have Nunez up, who was up with the Mets already for a short stint this season because now we see Drew Smith being put on the 15-day IL with shoulder inflammation. Drew Smith, who was off to a great early start this season, and then we saw over his past out here too, not the Drew flow that we were hoping for. You have to wonder if the shoulder issue has been an ongoing thing that led them to the point of the IL or if this is something that really happened over the past couple days. Not exactly sure, but what I do know is that I hope that, again, Drew Smith has a speedy recovery, one, and two, Nunez, again, is just a placeholder there in the bullpen for the time being. I don't even know if the Mets are going to have him up for this entire stretch. They may very well send him down and kind of rotate guys there in AAA until Drew Flo is back in the mix, or if someone else stands out, maybe we have another Reed Garrett situation on our hands in the best way possible. But what I want to emphasize, of course, in today's video is regarding Mark Viento. Marky V is getting yet another stint now his third stint at the major league level first time in the 2024 season after not making the Mets out of camp that we saw the Mets roll with DJ Stewart DJ has now proven to be a serviceable player for the Mets coming off the bench there and starting in DH some days where JD Martinez won't and while JD Martinez is off to a roaring start in his Mets tenure with two hits yesterday including an opposite field RBI double uh, we see here in Mark Vientos that yes he can command third base he can command first base doesn't do them either at a strong club defensively whatsoever. You're looking for the power of Mark Vientos. Of course, he's an over 300 hitter so far this season in AAA Syracuse with five home runs, 22 RBIs, over a 900 OPS. And while you might be head scratching just a little bit as to why the Mets decided for Mark Vientos to be their first immediate call up, what this goes to show is that one, Marte is not expected to be out of the lineup long, so I don't foresee Vientos necessarily being on the roster here long. But two, it's this is the Mets' way of kind of giving Vientos a little shot to prove himself himself and limited sample sizes again it is not an easy thing to do whether Vientos is just coming off the bench whether say he gets even a start there at th third base which wouldn't shock me for the time being just because of Brett Beatty's struggles that we've seen you know really again the ground balls are continuing to be a problem he was off to a great early start but that's already uh flundered quite a bit since then Bien uh, Beatty's looking more the Beatty of old with his lack of ability to lift the ball I know it's uh, not a crazy long stretch this season he definitely looks better than he did last year on the defense Offensive end, and of course on the overall offensive production end, but Beatty's still not playing his best baseball by any stretch, and you do have to wonder if the Mets made that decision with Vientos in part because of Beatty's underwhelming play that we've seen leading into, of course, his little hamstring injury, and of course what he has provided since the hamstring injury. I could be reading too much into that for all I know because naturally I'm taking Beatty every single day of the weekend on Sundays there at the hot corner over Mark Vientos from both the offensive and the defensive end combined. But Vientos, of course, has the power bat that we know. How much opportunity is he going to have during Marte's time on the Bremen list? I can't imagine it won't be too much opportunity, but he will get some at-bats in there. So hopefully Vientos can take advantage of those opportunities that are given to him. And again, maybe leave the Mets a little bit of a tough, tough decision on their hands if he does ball out and say a couple at bats that he does have or maybe he gets more of an extended look again this is something that we're going to find out in the coming days we may very well see Vientos be a pinch hitter or come in later in the game today for the Mets against the St. Louis Cardinals but until then we will soon find out but Mets fans whoever you're a fan of I definitely want to know your initial thoughts about the latest news how Mark Vientos again the Mets power bat there in AAA has been called up do you think he'll make any impact if at all at the major league level or do you, do you think that this is something as simple as okay he's called up 
up for a couple days. As soon as Marte's back, he's sent down regardless on what he does or doesn't do. Whatever your thoughts are, drop them down below. On Nunez, really not much to add there. Of course, he has gas behind there, but not a guy that I'm expecting to you know, light the world on fire for the bullpen by any stretch. If he does, awesome, but not getting my hopes up in the slightest. I can't expect everyone to give me the type of production that Reed Garrett certainly has so far this season. He has been a blessing in disguise, but again, those things are diamonds in the rough when looking at internal options in the organization. I'm not expecting too much more until, again, David Stearns and the Mets prove me otherwise. But Mets fans, let me know how you feel about Mark Vientos, Mark V getting the call up, and what are your expectations for him during this tenure, and is he someone that you would like to stay on the roster beyond potentially just Marte Stint? Whatever they are, drop them down below, and thank you all so much for watching for this latest report here regarding the Metropolitans, and again, stay tuned for our post-game coverage, our pre-game coverage that we're going to have plenty next week as well, and everything in between. This is your boy Wardy signing out, and as always, let's go Mets, baby. Peace.